All right, Stockmaster fans, I have no idea what this movie is. It's the incredible Rocky Mountain Race. Let's watch. Mark Twain confronting a bully outside who was bullying some other kids. Time for a moral lesson. The kid doesn't know that that guy's Mark Twain, but now Mark Twain's telling a story about when he himself was younger and was dealing with a bully in town by the name of Mike Fink, this guy. And Twain has been getting the best of him. Of course, we all know that Twain became a writer, and here he is telling the story of what happened with Mike. Much to Mike's chagrin. Christopher Connolly plays Mark Twain. And Fink isn't too happy with Twain once he finds out that he's been the butt of his jokes and his stories. Forrest Tucker plays Mike, and they both get arrested for basically busting up the town during their scuffle. In order to get them out of town, they devise a race to the town officials. Whoever can win it... Actually, they don't care who wins it, as long as they both get out of town. They gotta get to the ocean and pick up a bunch of items along the way. So they both agree, and they're All off. Right. Without further delay, let's get this race underway. One of the things he needs is a conductor's hat from this uh, train that goes through Kansas City. It's full of money. Tough to get, but he got it. If they have expenses, they charge it to the town. That can't be much. Well, what does it all come to? Uh, $3,611.79. At one point, uh, Twain is captured by Fink. But he eventually gets rescued by this guy. You sure do set your saddle, buddy. Them ropes, them ropes around your arms to keep from flying around as you ride, huh? Both of you He's gonna help them get Crazy Horse's moccasins, something else they need. How long have you known him? Who? Crazy Horse, chief of the Ogallala Sioux. Ogallala. Ogallala Sioux. Never met him. What'd you like? He said you were friends. Well, of course we're friends. And them pearly gates. So he just sort of settled back against the rock. Mike has reached Crazy He's Horse's settlement. Breaks into his teepee that night and tries to take those moccasins, but he gets well, caught. There, I was just checking on you, make sure that you were sleeping comfortable. Uh, and thus he gets captured. I hope you're happy. And so does Twain. But the two work together and manage to escape. They get captured again, but they end up escaping again. Ben gone. 
Sprints are gone. Moccasins gone. I am ashamed. They're having a tug of war over the bag. One of the other items they're supposed to get. Twain reaches Virginia City, Nevada, which is where that restaurant is that they need the menu for. Mind if I join you? And he's going to win a lot of money from these guys and get their threads so he can walk into the place. I'll have the Delmonico steak. Medium rare. Excellent choice, sir. Menu obtained. Of course, Mike finds a way to get some fancy outfit, too. And he's going to get his menu also. Yes, it is. Mike ends, ends up getting arrested. Hang me. What for? For busting up Delmonico's. That's what for. That's the dumbest thing I ever heard. And he's been sentenced to hang. Larry Storch comes from Crazy Horse's tribe. He plays Eagle Feather. I promise you. I'll give you back your box as soon as we get to the city Goshen. I give you my word. The white man has never lied to the Indian. No, never. It's hanging day. Not too tight, I think it hurts you though. Can't be tight enough for a scoundrel like you. Let's go. Hey! They barter. Each of them steals a canoe. Eagle Feather's following in a canoe also, and he's going to retrieve one of the saddlebags. One of them dropped. They all team up together then. They're both missing the eagle feather, an actual eagle feather, although Twain actually had one. No. Think wins. How do you figure? If he had brought eagle feather, he would be winning. That's right. But Sink saved me and brought me. I am eagle feather. Mike Sink, he returned to St. Joe. He got a hero's welcome for winning the race. But he was a changed man. He no longer was mean and braggart, and was actually heard to say thank you. There's the eagle feather that he kept. To you, the story of thinking Twain. All the bragging and the boasting in the world just make you a better man. You see, the fellow that's the real winner is the one who knows to make a mistake. And that's our movie. All right, so like Mr. Fans, the incredible Rocky Mountain Race. This is a movie that I have on a pre-recorded VHS tape, although I never got purchased this tape myself. This was acquired by my fellow Schlockmeister Jeff, who, if you've been watching my channel, you know that I inherited all of his VHS tapes about 19 years ago or so. This was one of them, and sometimes some of his movies are the bane of my existence, because if I have them, I try to upgrade everything I have. This is not available on DVD, so I had to burn it and make some box art, which actually looks pretty cool, but... Anyway, I'd never seen this movie, and when I asked him about it recently, he said he'd never even seen it either. So, we are watching it now. Anyway, what we have here is um, made-for-television movie from 1977, starring Christopher Connolly, Larry Storch, and Forrest Tucker. 
It's about Mark Twain telling a story about when he was younger, how he was dealing with this bully in this town. So the town kicked them both out, basically, and set them on this cross-country race where they had to find various objects, a menu, an eagle feather, a saddlebag, a, a conductor's hat, and um, also get to the ocean. Whoever can do, get there first wins the contest. Basically, they assume they're going to end up getting killed along the way, so that's just basically their plan to get them on the town. Um, along the way, they, they battle each other, always always within a mile or two of each other, it seems like. Um, they get the same things at the same time. And near the end of the movie, uh, they have to work together, actually. And uh, they have an Indian with them, uh, an Indian guy named Eagle Feather, who is there to retrieve Crazy Horse's moccasins, who, which is an item that they had taken. Um, he wants to get those moccasins back and give them to Crazy Horse. So three of them end up working together at the end, and they all land at the Pacific Ocean at the same time. Um, Mark Twain has a couple of Eagle Feathers, and he hides them on himself. Uh, Larry, I'm sorry, not Larry Storch, uh, Forrest Tucker, who plays Mike Fink, uh, says he lost it, he can't find it, but the, the Indian, Larry Storch, is, his character name is Eagle Feather, and, uh, he had saved him at one point, so, uh, Eagle Feather says Mike Fink wins, because he needed to bring an Eagle Feather, and he brought me, and, um, so anyway, that's how the movie ends, uh, but, uh, ultimately, Fink, who was a bully at the beginning of this movie, was now a nice man, said thank you from time to time, and, that's how our movie ended. Anyway, this is a Sun Classics movie. They did other things like, um, I think, uh, Beyond the Beyond uh, Beyond Death's Door um, and a few other goofy relics from the 70s. Um, God, I know I've reviewed a few, but I'm losing my mind here. I can't remember it anyway. Uh, the director of this movie is James L. Conway. He directed Earthbound, which I've reviewed before, uh, The Boogans, um, and a few other things. He's actually directing like TV shows now, so he's still around. But a lot of his early stuff is not available on, on DVD. The Boogans is, but that's about it. Anyway, The Rock, Incredible Rocky Mountain Race. It was an okay movie for what it was. Like I said, made for television. I don't remember anything about this. It, it barely exists. Um, but it was available on VHS tape. So I will leave a link down below on Amazon if you're looking for it. As far as I know, it's available on three different VHSs because there's a website called VHSCollector.com, which is a pretty cool website, actually. And they have... Uh, uh, they scan images from VHS tapes, and they have two different scans of this one, which is where uh, this cover art came from, actually. However, neither one of the scans they have are the videotape I have. So um, I have a completely different one than what they show. So anyway, that's it, the incredible Rocky Mountain Race. Anybody ever seen this movie besides me? Probably not. Even the guy who bought this tape, which I have now inherited, hadn't seen it. Well, I have. Check it out. Leave some comments. Watch it. Bye.